Hey guys, welcome to the Japan A Ghost channel. My name is Chika. Is it starting to get a bit warmer where you guys are from? In Tokyo, it's still a bit cold, but I can just feel that spring is around the corner. And not because of the fresh spring air, but because of all the springtime commotion going on at the department stores. In Japan, all it takes is a visit to the department store to know exactly what time of year it is. Seasons play a huge role in Japanese culture, and on February 3rd, we celebrate the first season of the year, Haru, or spring, with what we call Setsubun no Hi. Setsubun means to divide the seasons, and no Hi means the day of, so the day of dividing the seasons, which technically refers to the day before each season begins. But because spring is the first season of the year and it's treated kind of special, Setsubun rituals began to only take place in February. So what do we do for Setsubun no Hi? What are the rituals? Well first, let me give you a few key words to remember. Oni, Japanese ogres. Otafuku, which is a lady with a very round face, just like mine. Actually, I think mine is a bit rounder. Haha. <laughs> Known for having lots of good luck. Daizu, or mame, soybeans, and futomaki, or big fat sushi roll. Just like New Year's, Setsubun is all about wishing for a good year, wishing for good health, good business. It's said that during seasonal changes, people are more prone to catching colds and getting sick. So for Setsubun, we conduct rituals to prevent that. One of the rituals is called mamemaki, or bean throwing. There is a setsubun phrase that goes something like this, Oni wa soto, fuku wa uchi, which translates to evil out, fortune in. The character for evil is the oni, and the character for fortune is the otafuku. For mamemaki, you throw soybeans at the oni. In many households, the father will dress up like the oni and show up at the doorsteps with the kids waiting inside getting ready to throw the soybeans at him. There are also mamemaki matsuri, bean throwing festivals that take place throughout the country. Why soybeans? Well, just like rice, soybeans are thought of as a holy food item. And I think that because soybeans are bigger, it was said to be able to defeat the oni's a little bit better than a grain of rice. You'll also notice that the soybeans are always roasted. You have to throw roasted soybeans. If you throw raw soybeans, it's said that it will sprout buds. Buds in Japanese is called me, and although a different kanji, me is also the word for eyes. And so if you throw raw soybeans at the onis, they'll start growing lots of eyes and it's extremely bad luck. Another ritual with these soybeans, you have to eat one for each year of your age. So for me, I would have to eat 29 of them. One, two. It's much less oily than cashew nuts. It's kind of like peanuts. It's very similar to peanuts. Oh shoot. I lost count. I wonder if it's better to eat more or less. Crap. Oh no, I'm not gonna have good luck. Damn it. I guess if I rewind the video, I'll see how many. Well, oh, I'll finish this later. Okay. Do you eat them off the floor after throwing them? Good question. I think it depends on the household and their hygiene standards, but I read somewhere that nowadays in certain regions, they actually use peanuts in the shell um, for the bean throwing so that they can pick it off the floor later, crack open the shell and eat it clean. But really, what's some house dust? All right, lastly, we've got the sushi roll. This is a futomaki, but for setsubun, we don't just eat any sushi roll, but we eat what's called ehomaki or marukaburi sushi. There's various names depending on the region. Eho means lucky direction, and maki is roll, so lucky direction roll. Marukaburi means to bite it whole, so bite it whole sushi roll. There are no hard set rolls on the ingredients, but there are seven basic things that are usually in them. Cucumber, shiitake mushrooms, anago, seasoned omelet, sweet fish flakes, and kampyo, which is like dried gourd. Each of these ingredients have meaning, just like the osechi. I I couldn't find out what all of them mean, but I did read somewhere that the cucumber represents the ao oni, the blue oni. In Japan, you'll notice that a lot of things that are green are referred to as blue. Green papaya in Thai food, we call that ao papaya, which is blue papaya. And of course, anything pinkish or reddish represents the red oni. And in the basic ingredients, the sweet fish flakes 
are pink so that represents the oni and why do we have ingredients that represent these guys because eating the roll means eating or defeating these ogres there are some important rules on how to eat ehomaki sushi rolls are usually cut right but with ehomaki you eat it whole. Hence the marukaburi zushi that I told you about earlier. If you cut it, it means that you're cutting fate or fortune and it's, ex bleh bleh, it's extremely bad luck. Also, you have to face the lucky direction of the year, the eho of the year. Once you're facing the eho of the year, this year it's east, northeast, you take your eho maki, close your eyes, take a big bite, make a wish and you can't talk while you're eating it. East Northeast I think is that way. Itadakimasu! so I'm gonna defeat you ogres! Ow. Oh my gosh that was so good! Do I get another wish? Can I like wish for as many bites as I take? Worth a shot? Ow. That was the best sushi roll I've ever had. Oh yum! Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Sorry, I probably have seaweed all over my mouth. But I'm really glad that I got to explore the culture of Sitsubun with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Seasons will definitely be a recurring theme in my videos. I don't think you can really understand Japan until you understand the importance of seasons in the culture because it really affects our everyday lives. In this video, I talked a lot about the traditional culture of Sitsubun, but it has definitely become modernized. My video on my other channel, I introduce all the different modern ehomaki. So if you guys want to see what that's all about, check out that video and I will see you guys again soon. Do I have ehomaki? Oh my gosh, I hope I don't have seaweed in my mouth.